She has like two like, what are those called? She's that thick? <laughs> She's got a double chin for a butt. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. We're halfway through Dragon Maid, season two. So we're on episode six. Still haven't seen season one. I'm sorry. I don't know. I just haven't gone around to it. Uh, would you believe me if I told you that I skipped episodes two to five? <laughs> anyway, so to give a good recap of what I think so far. Not every episode it was as crazy as episode one. I, I mean, that makes sense. I wasn't expecting that. It's been pretty funny. Not a lot of controversies. That's good. If there were, I haven't seen them. Looks like they all pre-gamed the controversies and blacked out during the actual season, so that's good. I mean, there's some moments where it's like, ho ho ho, ho 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 ho, that's a bit taboo, but it's not that big of a deal. Uh, we got some backstory for Toru and Elma. We got to learn more about Ilulu, or Iruru. She's cool. She's the new girl in town, so she's getting a lot of attention. A lot of people like her. I don't really have much to say about the show right now. It's good. Let's just keep going. Episode six. Six episodes later, and we get titties. <laughs> That's a great way to start it. <laughs> oh, wait. The boing boings. I can finally isolate the sound effects for the boing boings. Yes. I can finally use it. All right, so this is a show episode. You know, a lot of people would be like, what are you, what, what are you gay? What are you, little gay boy? To be quite honest, he's lived with this girl for like a whole season and a half now. He's sick of her sh- Wow! She probably smells, bro. It's like, it's like when you're, she's like sleeping with your mom. Yeah, she's got big old titties, but when you see it every day, it's like, you become desensitized to it. I'm, I'm betting this guy's gonna grow up, he's not gonna find any woman attractive that's not like Luke Goa. That's gonna suck. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, he's about to, have to go alpha male phase. Gotta show her that I'm in charge. That I'm the man of the house. Where are my parents? Wait a minute. Wait, does Shota not have any parents? Is he an only child? I think I... Okay, this is what happens when I don't watch season one. I don't know... I don't know the relationship dynamics of these characters, man. He's spying on her? Okay, how is that inconspicuous? That's like, obviously, that's like the most obvious spot to put a camera. It's not even hidden, it's just a little circle. with eye It's like an eyeball. Oh my god, she knows, she knows. I think I speak for all Springfielders when I say, where is the sexy footage? Oh god! <laughs> Okay, so does he actually just live alone? Does he not have a mom and dad? Does he not have a parent of some kind? A guardian? Is Luqua his garden? guardian? Or is he from a different world? Because he is a mage. Well, I don't know about that. I mean, sober Luqua is already clinging on to this guy like crazy. I think drunk Luqua might be worse. She might break some boundaries at that point. If you make her jealous, what well, if you stop spending time with Luqua and start spending time with Kobayashi? Or Toru. What if that will get her jealous? Hmm. Oh god. She's everywhere. Dude, look at her ass. Look at her ass. What's going on here? She has like two like... What are those called? When your ass cheeks do like a little indentation? <laughs> Why is there two of them? <laughs> She's that thick? <laughs> She's got a double chin for a butt. <laughs> Shota needs space. Yeah, but that doesn't mean anything. We're getting some Lukua backstory here. Toru? Yeah. But why him? Yeah, why me? Oh, is this season one? I wasn't there for that. Hmm. That's why you guys compliment each other, right? This guy reminds me like Waver and Ryder. <laughs> Shoto and Lukua. They're even on a bridge, too. <laughs> if this was anything else, Lukua would sac we'd be sacrificing herself right now. She's your mom at this point. You don't have one. Oh, more Lukua. Wait, what? Well then speed run it Fafnir. No, I gotta beat it again, but faster. Look at that sheep in the background, that's pretty cool. 
Oh, I remember that from episode three of the flashbacks. I'm, I'm curious why they went with that route in terms of portraying that, that conversation and that style. Is there a meaning to it? Or is it just like, ha, funny visuals or something like that? What do you mean you don't want to be my dad? I thought you were going to be my dad. <laughs> hmm. Actually, maybe. <laughs> Got a fucking neat for a dragon living in my house. I want him gone. Use your mage powers to kick him out. Ooh. Do you want to be my dad? No, no, no. I want you to be my dad. Oh. Mm. So, so do you want to be my dad? <laughs> oh, it's a family. Look. Oh, look at that wholesome family of dragons right there. Yay. And this guy's masquerading as a bitter incel. <laughs> Lives alone, plays video games. Has no job. Consumes anime. He's got the worst of humanity in him. I don't think I... I don't think Kana really say anything in episode once. So I never got a chance to actually talk about Kana's voice. What is with her voice? It's like... Hi, my name is Kana. And I am a little girl. And I'm a dragon. Hi, hi, hi. That's what it sounds like. It's like a Mickey Mouse voice. Yeah, yeah. She's like a dragon Mickey Mouse. It's like Blue Eyes White Dragon voiced by Mickey Mouse. That's what she sounds like to me. It's weird. It's like obviously like a fake voice. <laughs> like why? You don't know. Huh. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Wait, what? Is that a reference to something? Oh man, I dropped the fork! I wonder... Here, have another one. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I'm glad that didn't happen, because that would have been awkward to watch, but... You blew it, Saikawa! Ah, young love. I remember when we used to hate people like you. Yeah, I'm gonna get a receding hairline. My hair is gonna fall off. I'm just gonna have a giant ball head. CG? <laughs> That's some good CG. Yes. CG. It's the thing that weebs hate. But we use it sometimes. You just never know. In fact, I'm CG right now. All right, that was uh, that was cute. It's more of an episode for secondary characters, so it's kind of it's kind of seems weird to like to make a video about it, but it's still good. But anyway, if you enjoyed that video, please leave a like. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Uh, leave a comment what you think about the season so far. Oh, I should probably tell you what I've also been watching besides Dragon Maid. Uh, I've been watching Aquatope. I've been following that too. Surprising amount of death in that show. I'm very surprised how many people have died in Aquatope. Uh, I have I dropped Sunny. Please let me know if someone actually dies. I don't feel like watching a weekly show of build up, so I'm just gonna wait until someone something actually happens. Also, Crunchyroll and Funimation got married. That's really weird. I wonder what kind of kids are they gonna poop out. They're not gonna be very pretty, are they? Anyways, I hope you have a good day. Okay, bye. Ah, uh,